Hey everybody, today we're going outside of bubbles and don't be afraid. We're gonna go do a restaurant review with Bob and Liz and we're gonna get started just about now. Oh yeah, that's perfect timing. Hi, Rusty. Hi. Hi. Oh, I thought it was a different Bob and Liz. I was going. <laughs> Where are we going? Catfish Johnny's. Let's do it. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome. Today we are going outside the bubble, so don't be afraid. I'm going out with Bob and Liz and we're gonna do another restaurant review. And also we have a surprise at the end. Uh, well, kind of a surprise, not a surprise to us, but it'll be a surprise to you. Not only are we doing a restaurant review, but we're all, all, also going to one of our favorite places, Mystic Ice Cream. And you'll get to see that. I'm, trust me, the, you don't want to miss this place. And if you haven't been there, um, you probably should go. I also had a chance to meet up with the owner and talk to him. And I'm actually going to do a more in-depth kind of review, not a review, because we know we like the place already, um, uh, of Mystic Ice Cream and a very unique story. You'll see that in the video towards the end. You'll get to meet one of the owners and we're going to have a lot of fun with that down the road. I am absolutely sure about that. But I wanted to say with these restaurant reviews, we're still not sure how to do these because you just can't walk into a restaurant and shove a camera in somebody's face. So I kind of got to feel this out and sometimes the camera work and the mic's not really all that great so this sounds not all that great but for for the time being i hope you enjoy these because we're having a lot of fun doing them and first off we're going to jump onto the internet take a look at a couple of the reviews and then we're going to jump into the car and do that and make sure you hang around for the end of mystic ice cream because it's definitely a special kind of place now you have to remember when we go to these places they are, we, we kind of review them for what they are. And we don't always go to places that we eat all the time at. We go just to go have fun and explore new places. And this is definitely not a place that's for everybody, but I would say, and I guess this is a spoiler alert, we enjoyed ourselves. We enjoyed it for what it what it was, but it, it's definitely uh, worth a stop by if you like this type of thing. Anyway, let's start with a view of where this place exactly is. So if you look over on the right over here, this is the southern, this is the turnpike, and this is the southern part of the villages down near Wildwood, actually. This is starting out in St. Cat's. And it was about a half an hour to get there. And I would say, even if you came from the upper part of the villages, it was about a half an hour to get there. Now, when we go there, you'll see us pulling up. And if you've ever been to the Big Bass Grill, it's over by um, near the lake. That's about where we're pulling in. Now, here is TripAdvisor, a look from TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor rates it a 4.5. Now, you definitely, like I said, you have to keep your kind of mind where, where you're going, and you'll see what kind of place it is. And there's a bunch of cool pictures of it. Here's a, a large picture of the outside at night. And this is the website. Now, there's definitely a story behind this place because there really was a Catfish Johnny. And I wish, uh, uh, unfortunately, he passed away in 2021. And I wish I had had a chance to get down here uh, when he was alive. Because if you look up on here, this is in memory. I'm going to leave this up here. If you want to read it, go ahead and you can probably, let me make it a little smaller, you can probably stop this and take a look at it because th this guy's uh, backgrounds, I, he must have been a character and that must have been a lot of fun. This is, let's take a look, the menu. This is the current menu so you can get an idea. 
And it seems like they have a lot of specials, so you may want to check which night you go there. And with everything these days, things are going up in price. But I'll tell you what, we had some of the onion rings. I really enjoyed the onion rings. They were really good since uh, I don't know whether we get to see them in the actual video or not. But as you can see, uh, a lot of stuff on there. And they do have beer and wine. And there you go. So let's get the heck off of the internet here and jump in the car. Well, we're one mile, 0.7 miles away, and the suspense is killing us. We would have been there already, but <laughs> somebody didn't want to use Waze. So we're down by the Big Bass Grill, if anybody's eaten at the Big Bass Grill. And it's always fun, as Liz was saying, to get outside the bubble and go drive around and check out what's out here. So 0.3 miles. I will show you on a map. I see signs on the left. Is that it? Uh, not this one. No. It's close. No, there it is. The big green catfish sign. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, there's a lot of people Ooh, here. There's a lot of cars here. It's a good sign. It is a if good that sign. parking lot was empty, I'd know we'd be going to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of cars here. There are. Wow. Of course, we don't, there might be like a hoedown going on there. <laughs> Make positive. Gosh, we should have brought our truck. <laughs> the destination is on your right. Yes, it is. And there's a lot of trucks here. So this All could right. be interesting. Well, here we are. We're definitely, definitely, definitely not in the villages. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. What did you say you let me go in first? Scaredy cats. So as you're coming down, there looks like there's a few places outside to eat. I can smell the food. Here's a sign from the road. Actually, a nice sign. Open, it looks like open Wednesday through Saturday, 8 to 11. So, this is it. Big trucks with big wheels. Nice little area outside. Don't mind sitting out there sometime. Kind of nice. Nice area there. So, here we go. I don't like shining the, I don't like sticking the camera in there when I walk in because I'm always afraid that somebody's going to get mad. So here's a quick view of the place. Hi, how are we doing? Okay. This is looking out the window. Yes. Yes. Gator. Two, two orders of lemon, yeah, and a and a beer. Okay, so you say this is him? Uh-huh. Oh. Supposedly, that is Catfish John. Catfish Johnny Gabby. Bob, Bob looked it up and he passed away in 2021 and he had what a pet pet alligator he had a pet alligator do they all have sugar no no these are the hush puppies I guess and these are the salads they got and then the hush puppies and my coleslaw. This is good. <laughs> it's got like sugar or something on it, but it's pretty good. Just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what 
I just kind of threw the camera down on the table and let it run for a little while, give you an idea of what the atmosphere was like. There was a couple of tables behind me, a couple of tables behind Bob and Liz. And then, as you can see, the walls had, uh, you know, some game fish on there. That, that that looks like an awful big, I'm not sure, there's a bass up there. I can't quite tell now in the video. But, uh, you know, there's a rack up on the wall. And then in the back, there was a larger room where um, I you know, get have larger parties kind of separated from the rest of the restaurant. And they're building something back into the far corner over there, like another store or something. And I'm not 100% sure what that is. May have to go back and uh, find out what it is. But it kind of gives you an idea of the type of place it is. It's definitely a, um, you know, kind of fried fish, fried food kind of stuff. And like I said, there was, there is beer and wine and we had our, our beer in the mason jars. So uh, that, that was kind of fun. And then eventually our food came. <laughs> oh, thank you. So we did, we did get our meal. Uh, finally. I'm choking on water. Or maybe it's the beer. <laughs> this is the 10 piece fried, of course, shrimp, and Bob is trying to make his potato into a work of art, and that is a big piece of perch, Perch, right? yep. Perch and, and shrimp. And shrimp. And then Liz got... The 10-piece shrimp ten and baked potato. She got a normal baked potato. I got a potato with everything on it, which caused total havoc. <laughs> Never eat it, let you know, but it's good. There's sour cream. Uh, some sour cream. Obviously, this is the, the, the cardiologist wouldn't be <laughs> happy with this. As you can see, the place is kind of um, filled out already, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get to Vitalin. We'll let you know what it tastes like on the other side. So Bob gave me a piece of the fish, which was good, but then as he did that, he took his off and discovered there's a whole other piece of fish down, down below. It's a lot of fish. Yeah, so it was it was a lot of fish with a, and shrimp too, right? Shrimp too. And uh, that was all, for, that was a special for $12.95, so that was pretty good. There is a back room back here, as you can see, so it's right out there is where we ate. And all over the walls are, I guess, all these people that have been here. So, a lot of cool stuff. I think there's going to be some kind of new tap room or something they're building back there. It kind of looks like a kind of looks like a monkey head. Huh. Here you go, Jay Luna. And here's a copy of the check. As you can see, it, it wasn't too bad for three people, a couple of beers, and it was a pretty good night. We just got out of Catfish Johnny's, and like we said, we, we still don't know what the format of these are gonna be because they're so random at the last second, but we're definitely outside the bubble, and I'll make sure you get a map of that. But, and, and also, um, like we said, we do these things, they are what they are. You know, we're not comparing this to Ruth Chris or Bluefin or something like that in the villages, so what'd you guys think? I thought it was good for what it is. Yeah, you know, what is it? Let's talk a, about what, what. A lot of fried fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was fried, a lot of fried food. A lot of fried food. A lot yeah. of fried food. You're not going to get a vegetarian salad there, probably. They do they have hamburgers and stuff like that. Yes. They did. Yes. Um, and everybody was really, really friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, had some, uh, I was going to say, mystic type ice, mystic ice cream type <laughs> shirts on, you know, a little. Um, yeah, I think it's family owned. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, decent. A lot of locals. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the other thing. It's we definitely were the only people there from the villages, I think. Yeah. That, that's for sure. Yeah. And uh, but everybody was really friendly. Yep. And it might be one of those things you might want to try once, but yep. your cardiologist <laughs> yeah. And the price was good. The yeah. the price was yeah. good. Yeah. Right, it, it usually is what how much? Uh, twelve ninety five. Twelve twelve ninety five. I don't Ours know. Ours was thirteen. Ours was thirteen. So I'm um, plenty full. The onion rings are good. I think they do a lot of their own. Mm -hmm. 
They give you uh, corn fritters and uh, hush puppies. Oh yeah, the corn fritters <laughs> and hush puppies. <laughs> yep. And the salad was good. That was good. The and salad yeah, was good. the salad was basic. Basic yeah. garden yeah. salad Iceberg. kind yeah, of Iceberg. kind of thing. But anyway, that's it. Um, it was her idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna keep trying to do these who knows how they're gonna turn out or where we're gonna uh, end up <laughs> yeah next time we'll do one without fried food yes um, yeah we'll try yeah, to be healthy well, well, yeah yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe one of these days we'll get into sushi somewhere yeah you know, bob bob's not a big sushi <laughs> eater but we, we can convert them a little bit so <laughs> anyway uh i guess we'll see you later all right thanks a lot for subscribing and um anything See you in the next adventure. The, the, the next what? adventure. Naked adventure. Naked, naked, <laughs> naked adventure. Naked adventure. That's our next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Next See adventure. now people are gonna be wondering about the villages now. Right? Okay. okay. You can cut that part. Yeah, out. there you go. <laughs> and there you go. Do Catfish Johnny's. <laughs> All right, that was it for Catfish Johnny's. Definitely an experience, kind of cool, and it was a fun trip outside the bubble. But don't forget, right now we are going to go to Mystic Ice Cream. Now, how this came about was we actually went and did a review of another restaurant, and we decided not to put it on there for various reasons. Didn't turn out that well and stuff like that. So, but after that, we did our normal trip to Mystic Ice Cream. So you're going to get to see the two Mystic Ice Creams that are surrounding or in the villages kind of near that area. And we'll put those clips together and you can check it out. And I'll give you the locations of each and you'll get to meet the owner in this. And hopefully very shortly down the road, I'll have another video where uh, we investigate a little bit further with the owner's Mystic Ice Cream. But go ahead and enjoy this. I think if you stop by, you'll enjoy their ice cream too. All right, so now we just went to dinner and we're continuing our trip and we're going to, I'm gonna show you the front of this truck. If you can get the idea, Mystic Ice Cream. Pretty cool. Now this is a kind of a different place because this is ice cream with adult, it was adult, it has actually has liquor in it. So kind of a fun place. <clears throat> no doubt. It says it says that we're welcome here. Oh my god. This is so cool. <laughs> what are they playing here? Trivia. Can't take a picture of your list. Oh, you can get in it if you want. Number two. I totally like your shirt. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. So these are all the all the flavors. Great coffee. And do, do some of these have alcohol? Is that the deal? The two Just columns on the left have alcohol. The two on the right are classic. Okay, so you heard that. That's it. Here was your here was the Errol Flynn of the this is Bob's punch card. Right. And we, not not that we come here a lot, but we've already got we've already got the whole punch card thing here. And when he fills this punch card, then he gets to spin the wheel. And what do you win? Any prize you get. Any prize you get on there. And what rings the bell? Uh, when you spin the wheel, I ring the bell. You ring the bell when we spin the wheel. Oh, okay. So that's it, and but it was cool because Bob paid for the ice cream because he wanted to get his card, card punched. Right now, they are doing what is this? Trivia. trivia. Oh, they're doing they're doing trivia. What does a notophile collect? A notophile. N O T A P H I L E. A notophile. What does a notophile collect? <laughs> You already know these guys. They've obviously come here a lot without me. <laughs> no. Captains, are you ready? Here we go.
What do you say, Mark? Stamps. Bank notes. Bank notes. All right, so there you have it. I had no idea. I'm sure we'll find We're going to do one more. I'm going to get into my ice cream. This was a total of six bucks, but the cool thing was these guys paid for it. So I'm in. As you can tell, we're kind of looking around here right now and there's nobody here. Well, except for one person. And this is one of the owners, Daryl. And you're going to note him if you ever see this shirt walking around. This and th those of us that this age, you know, and into Jimi Hendrix and old Dave Mason, we all know this shirt, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, Daryl, say hi. Hello, friends. And his wife. Lisa. Lisa. Yep. Um, I asked them to actually come back and we're going to do a video about making ice cream and a little bit about their history because this guy's got some history. You used to sing opera? That's correct. Right? And compose? Right. Still right. Yes. Yeah. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. So I think it'd be kind of an interesting story. And you live where? We live in Mallory in the villages. Yeah. So interesting story. And we're going to come back and do this. It could be a lot of fun. Awesome. Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We lied. We actually lied. And we, we made a last ditch yeah. run to Mystic Ice Cream. Right before they closed. A little wet, right before they closed. <laughs> so if you've never seen this, I'm going to show you around really quick. And this is, where are we, in Leesburg? Leesburg. 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 So we're in Leesburg. And... This is definitely a fun, funky place. The really cool part about this is that they actually have alcohol in some of their some of their ice cream. But you gotta check this out. And if you haven't seen the Italian restaurant visit that we did, we'll either have that out or coming soon, but we went into the other Mystic Ice Cream and met the owner and they're actually gonna have me um, back to go, to actually go make ice cream with them. So that'll be really cool. So these are the different ice creams up here. And this is the wheel that Bob wants to spin. Eventually. Eventually. So we're going to have our ice cream right now. Oh, there's his card. He's, that's his pride. <laughs> he has pride. <laughs> Under suggestion, I was told to try the peanut butter, whiskey, and jam. I'll, I'll let you know how that is. But I also got in there Bananas Foster. So, and these are both, take a look up there. They're both the alcoholic flavors. Driving. So yeah, he's driving, he's, he's driving. I, I, don't, I don't think we're gonna get schnockered by it. So. About an ounce of sodium. Oh really? An, an ounce of alcohol, wow. Okay. But the thing, the thing is, is, if you get stopped and ask if you've been drinking, I'll never say his no. <laughs> and you're not lying. And you're not lying. <laughs> now we're actually done. <laughs> we're done our night. What do you think of the ice cream? Five thumbs up. Five, 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 yeah. The, the, ice, the ice cream always gets five thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we once again close the place down. <laughs> Literally. And we. The more you eat, the more thumbs go on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, anyway, we want to thank him for letting us hang out here for a second and eat our ice cream. And now we're really done, right? <laughs> yeah. thank, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next trip. And if you've never seen Leesburg at night, this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of a cool place, but it's absolutely pouring rain right now but it is it is actually kind of a cool little town so if you haven't been down here take a day grab some lunch and, and come down here um, 
Now I gotta go get in the car and this is not gonna be real fun. And then it's gonna really be the end of the day. <laughs> I was good till I came out from the awning and all fell down on top of me. Okay, we're done. Good night, everybody. <laughs>